but I can't examine my thoughts intellectually, right? Because a thought, according to the UCLA's uh, lab for neural imaging, they say the average, Ameri the average human being has 70,000 thoughts a day. And they're so transient in nature, right? They rise and then they're kind of gone. But I decided that I was going to transcribe my thoughts. If I had a good idea or a bad idea or anything that was really um, prominent, that I would write it down that I would take that thought from this ephemeral, transient, intangible world of a cognitive state and fix it, fix it in space on paper and make, bring it into the physical world. That way I can examine it, I can manipulate it, and it occurred to me that my thoughts were antisocial, they were self-deprecating, I hated myself, <laughs> but also realized that in writing, in writing down my thoughts I could develop new thoughts and ideals and hopes and dreams and that's what I began to do writing them and the second part of that kind of process was the idea that because my frame of reference and that's the way I began to think about my mental states it's a limited resource there's only so much in there and I could be so much more effective if I started adding new thoughts and adding new concepts into this closed system that we all represent we only know what we know you don't know what you don't know and I just started, needed to dump as much, as many thoughts and new concepts and ideas into this closed system as I could. And that's what I started to do. I read everything. Fyodor Dojcevsky. I read Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. And he taught me as a Jewish psychiatrist in the Nazi death camps that my plight was nothing compared to his. And I read Deepak Chopra's uh, the Synchronicity and the Spontaneous Fulfillment of Desire, his take on how thought manifests itself as a physical reality. It was a little bit lofty, but I liked the idea and it advanced my, it advanced my ability to see the world. I read all Hemingway, all Steinbeck. I just kept dumping as many new ideas and thoughts into this system as I could. Because let's face it, before I read that article, thereby exposing myself to a new idea, triathlon was never, was never a possibility. But every thought and idea I could add into this closed system enhances the field of possibilities. And we are only limited. The human experience, our ability, we are only limited by the boundary of our, of our imagination. And the more robust, this, the more you expand this finite resource, the greater the, the possibility.